take on Manchester Arena. That horrific attack in Manchester Arena. Look what happened. And we don't know for sure what happened, but it looks like it's a terrorist event, Some maybe a suicide bomber. But these are the type of people, some of them, it just takes a few of them that are coming into our country. So either we're a country or we're not. So it's about standing up for Canadians, our freedoms, our civil rights, our, our liberties. And some of these cultures that are coming in are incompatible with our own. How fair do you think it is to target a school where young people go to school and the principal saying today that immigrant and refugee children are afraid to come to school? It's horrendous. You know, that's where, like, it's unbelievable. It's happening. It shows where our country's going. Where like the other students. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. Students and what, and what about their future? The what about the future of those kids? They can't even study in peace. And what's going to happen in our society? We need a, a safe society where people can prosper. But if we're living in fear, greater fear, we're going to lose that. Respectfully though, but why target a school? Why not hold your protest somewhere where there's adults? Where did the uh, No, but we've, we've got protests all place? over, but this is... Where did the attacks but take place? But what about the... the so so did, should we ignore the students the that are getting targeted? Is that what you're saying? No. No, I'm just asking. That's the reason we're here, because these are young people, young Canadians, and they're trying to get educated, and they're getting beat up in gangs, and we have some people from the Middle East here who talk about the culture there, where they where they, they team up in gangs if they have trouble, and then they go beat up the person. Or Not only that, they've been groping the girls in the hallway and taking videos of them. My daughter is one of them. So, so what are we as a country if we can't stand up for our own kids? Um, the principal sent a letter saying that all students who were involved in the altercation were dealt with equally and punished equally. Just a political statement. Just yeah, a, so just just a blank 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 blank. So is that going to end it? I don't, I don't know, I, but I, you know, we want to, you know, we came here to learn the facts like everyone else. We don't know everything that's going on, but we don't like the political correctness. We, we think we're over accommodating people coming to our country. We can see that happening across the country. <laughs> So that's that's just our opinion, and we need to draw a line. But the, you know, the irony here is the a lot a lot of these people are coming from countries where there's zero accommodation. You go to Saudi Arabia, you got to conform to their rules. Their uh, their regulations on free they don't even have free speech there. Women this can't the first drive. Time this happened in Canada. Either. So you know these are big issues we need to deal with as a country. So and so you're with the National. This is National Advancement Party of Canada. We're a registered federal party. Okay, and your name, sir? Stephen Garvey. Uh, P H or P H. Yeah. And Garvey has. Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, we welcome people in our country, but don't expect us to give up our values, our way of life, and that's why we're here. And uh, we're Sorry. concerned about uh, these these young kids here, and uh, we've seen the political correctness in Ontario. Like they're they're allowing prayers in schools now. We don't think it should be there. No. Is it, what kind of prayers? Like just uh, Islamic. Well, oh, Islamic, Islamic prayers okay. right now are going any on in the schools, and we don't think that. Okay, so you, know, you don't want any prayers in schools? Just to clarify. Well, that's uh, that's our personal opinion. Okay. But uh, but if you're going to have one, you got to let all in there, and you know that's special treatment, and we don't think that. Should, should be in there, but uh, in terms of the school, like that should be separate from religion. Like, do it in your home, do it, do it outside the school. But you come to school, you're you're, you're there to study. And are, are you hoping to get a conversation with school administration today? I didn't think so. We were hoping to get a really good conversation with parents who who who, are, who have kids who have been abused, attacked at the school. That's what we were looking for. But if the principal were to come over and discuss your concerns, is that something you'd be open to? A hundred percent. Yeah, if he wants to talk, let's talk. But, uh, you know, this is a national issue, even though it's only happening in Red Deer. This is a national issue. No, it's and happened on the East Coast, too. It happened in Halifax. And of course. It got, it got covered up well, by the media. It's, you know, this, even though it's localized yeah, here, right. it is a it national is issue. And we got to make sure. Yeah, I saw a video the other day. I thought it was another Germany video. There's too much political yeah. correctness. And this is in the accommodation. And we've kind of lost our way as a country. We need to stand up for our basic values that our veterans fought for. And, uh, you know, these are liberties, civil rights. And a lot of the people that we're letting in our country are coming from countries that most of us would never want to go to. 
and come here. But we're passionate about these issues. That's why we're here. And this is this is a national issue. Okay. And uh, there's too much accommodation. There's too much political correctness. There's too much fear to so, offend. So, at bottom line of what you're calling for today, Stephen? We want to know the facts. We're concerned about Canadian students. We want them to be able to study and to to further their lives in a in a safe environment. So that's why we're here. So and, what facts are you looking for, sorry? Uh, we want to talk to parents. We'd we'd love to talk to the principal and, and you know and get more clarity on this. But uh, yeah, how we're going to prevent it from happening. But you know, in our view, there's no room for political correctness. If, they if there's a group it happens to be a minority group beating up our kids, Canadian kids. They they should be called out and um, they should be separated even from the school if they can if, if they can um, work co you know coexist with other students in the school. That's what they do with anyone else. Exactly. So, okay, so, so but we shouldn't be politically correct. Whether they're migrants, refugees, it doesn't matter. And we need to stand up for for all kids. This is about equality. So you're looking for. Same treatment for every student, no matter where. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, and also we're looking for a safe environment. Here to have we our don't... values and our safety. Like, have you considered that? Sorry, I didn't catch what you said, ma'am. I said, have you considered that these people have come to our country for our safety because of our values, and we're throwing our values under the bus to accommodate? Like, to, like, if we, like they're they're here for our to the keep us, and, so, and we're adopting. And the lamestream media is supporting it. Okay. So when you guys say accommodate, does that mean preferential treatment or like they're getting treated uh, 100%, differently? 100%. Yeah. 100%. You know, the in the school, okay. the appeal board in Ontario, they were accommodating because uh, there were some uh, Islamic uh, people who, who, who wanted prayer, as, uh, you know, uh, Friday prayers in the school and, and then there was a big, you know, there's video online. But yeah. No, that's fine. I just wanted to get your then, definition of accommodate. That's, yeah. th that's accommodating, sure. right? And uh, But what it should be is about our values. Who we are as people, our civil rights, our liberties, you know, those should come first. You need to have responsible immigration. Okay. What does that mean? This screening or please people from certain countries? Like, what yeah. does responsible immigration mean? Oh, yeah. You're here. How's people that actually benefit? We're responsible, of course. Screening. We don't want terrorists. Do you want Why terrorists just coming into the country? Why do you just bring them in blank? Do you Why don't they have a reason to come? Do How about you, unemployment? Do you want people coming here? Pushing, pushing their way of life on us, that's incompatible. Do you do you want that for your kids' future? I'm just getting your opinion. Well, I'm asking you. I'm putting it back on you. Do you want people coming here who are pushing a way of life that's incompatible with our civil rights, with our liberties, where they treat women like uh, possessions, they oppress them, they throw gays off buildings? Do you want those it's type, coming here. type of people of coming care. to Canada? Because this is happening. And look at look at Manchester. Look at Manchester Arena, that horrific attack. That's the tip of the ice. Look at that. Look what happened. Thousands look at the contempt. Of young women, These are young women have been groomed. You know, they're they're in society, you know, they don't they're they're there having fun at the arena and they get bombed. Do you want those people here? Shouldn't we screen for those type of people? Major stands very clear. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thanks, folks. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.